Welcome back, you beautiful bastards. In the last episode, we helped uh, Sebastian see more of what he needs to do to heal Anne. But I sense this might not go particularly well. We'll see. But we have seen that Sebastian's emotions can get in the way a bit. Oh, the Ministry will hear about this! The fiends will rot in Azkaban! Hmm. Yes? Sir, are you alright? You seem to be in some distress. Alright? Do I look alright? I've been kidnapped! How can you be kidnapped when you're right here? What sort of question is that? Of course I'm right here. I've more than one frame. Do you only have one home? It's my other frame. It's been stolen. And by students, no less. They pay filthy fees to steal my other frame. Oh dear. That sounds awful. Well, awful is exactly what a story of cricket is. She's behind all of this. She and her friends were moaning about me of all the nerve. Then I heard a plot to enlist a gang of good-for-nothings to have me stolen from the three broomsticks. That's why my other frame hung. Half a little place. Though I suppose one could do worse. I once knew a portrait who ended up in the hog's head. No one's heard from him since. Right. So back to your frame. Ah, yes. Yeah. There I was, powdering my wig, and the next thing I knew, I was being manhandled by rogues and carried off. As if I can afford not to be at my post. I do important work for the headmaster, and I need my other frame back at the three broomsticks. Just who is Astoria Cricket, and what would she want with your frame? She's a fourth-year troublemaker, that's who. She and her band of hoodlums discuss hoodlums. all sorts of misdeeds right under my nose. And then resent me for overhearing them. I can only assume they took my frame in some misguided attempt to punish me for doing my job. What do you mean you do important work for the headmaster? Let's just say I overhear quite a bit in Serona's fine establishment. And the headmaster likes to know all about it. He's come to count on me in this regard. Reminds me of my prefect days. <sighs> I don't suppose you have any idea where your stolen frame was taken. Can you see anything from it? I most certainly can. They brought me to a ruin of all places. Some crumbling atrocity surrounded by water from the sound of it. Oh, I do also recall seeing the coast on the way. I could look into the matter for you. Oh, would you? How marvelous. Do it quickly though, won't you? The place they took me to is quite beneath me. Off you go, then. Off on another adventure, are we? Since when am I not? What do we have in here? I'm too pleased. Seems he's been burgled. I shall pretend I never heard the rumors of your involvement. A story of cricket? That depends. Am I in trouble? Ferdinand Pratt thinks you should be. Says you stole his frame. I wouldn't call it stolen. Relocated's more like it. How do I put this nicely? Ferdinand Pratt is a postulant boil, and he's lucky I didn't have him sealed in a wall. He truly is rather foul, isn't he? All he does is spy on students in here and report back to the headmaster. Sometimes, if there's nothing to report, he'll make it up. Mm. I spent four hours in detention last week, all because he told Black that I was planning to drain the lake, whatever that means. It was the last straw. He and his frame had to go. May I ask where you put him? Well, I didn't put him anywhere. The frame is likely with the fine gents I paid to snatch it. They camp in a ruin by the coast. I just wanted it far enough away that I'd never have to think about Ferdinand Pratt ever again. You do know he's screaming in the library as we speak. Oh, for the love of Merlin. If you ask me, he's got nothing to scream about. I could have had him put in the hog's head. 
The pampered prat would have hated it. Grimy walls, smell of goats. And the patrons, they eat snooty princes like Ferdinand for dinner. But what's done is done. He isn't here anymore, and if I were you, I should enjoy it. Lovely chatting with you. Oh my god, so far away. So far, so far away. Ugh. Let's go get the bastard. Oh. Just how many Stop right there. No thank you. you I'll steal the portrait too. Uh, 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 uh. See, that's why you do the Merlin trials. Protects you. Shut up about it. Jesus. Shame nobody saw that. Ah. Uh, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Oh, I can freaking hear him already. That's great. That's lovely. Oh. Click that. Calm down, I'm here now. Calm down? Those buffoons outside have been talking about burning me! Me! If they weren't all sharing half a brain, they'd realize I'm worth more to them intact and at the three broomsticks. How is that? With everything I overhear, I have a veritable trove of information. Now, don't just stand there. Oh, I need to be back by cocktail hour. The place will be like a funeral without me. What if I don't want to return you to the three broomsticks? What on earth do you mean? Mm. I could just burn you and be done with it. I'd like to see you try. You really oughtn't have said that. Are you... Are you burning me? Oh. Oh. Would you please meet with me in the Great Hall? I have come upon a difficult time <laughs> and I need a friend. Are you familiar with the Hamlet of Irondale? It's south of the castle. I think the cave that Doran wanted us to find is near there. Well, see, that's for the best. He put him in the hog, said he might tell some some people some information that they shouldn't know. Those seedy kind. Put him in the three broomsticks, freaking he'll spy on the children. Not very nice. I think that was the best course of action. There's no telling what lies in wait for me in there. Poppy! Okay, we gotta wait. I'm paying him, paying him, wait. Sorry. I take it this means you had some luck at the library? 
It took a few hours and some eye-watering maps, but I think this might be the cave Doran told us about. Impressive. Especially with how little information he gave us. Well, I'm still not sure this is the cave, but it did seem the most promising. I stumbled across some folklore about a cave in the area that people avoid. It seemed the perfect place to hide something of value. It's a bit of a leap, I confess, but might a mysterious item such as a special moonstone be hidden in an equally mysterious cave? I think I'm desperate for anything at this point. Did you discover why people avoid this cave? Ridiculous, really. Rumor was that the cave drove people mad. I couldn't find any account by someone who had been in the cave, though. So either it is a rumor, or anyone who went in wasn't in any state to speak of it afterwards. Well, we're here. We might as well have a look. Agreed. I wonder if you'd go blind from staring directly at a moonstone. Well, time to find out. Mm. Okay, not that. That one is just... You don't think the rumors about the cave are true, do you? Actually, we'll find out, won't we? Oh, some spiders. Nice. Revelio. Oh, that fair hawk lump juice and eight galleons. <laughs> Rip off. Okay, got one there. Rebellion. Can <laughs> that. Take that. You don't have to do it too, puppy. Let's see. Let me just correct that real quick. That one goes up there, that one goes there, okay. This legendary chair. <sighs> Rebellion. Oh, poopers. I beg your pardon? This must be how the rumor about the cave started. The Fwoopa song is said to drive anyone who hears it mad. If the music is here and so are Fwoopas, I wonder if it's been the past. Revelio.
Oh, this is the combo thing again. Okay, 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 okay. Why am I not surprised? First the Fuipers and now this. Ooh, cabinets. Ooh, ooh. We need to find moths for those spinners. Accio. Take that. Moth. Mm -hmm -hmm -hmm. Another moth. Spinner. Okay, okay. Is that everything? Let's just head back over here real quick. Jesus, poppy. How do you get over there? Probably go down, I guess. Lumos. Can you can you get one? Huh? No, of course not. Now I have to do everything. Oops, nope. Another obstacle. No matter. I'm sure we can work out a way across. Lumos. Lumos. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. yep. Lumos. Revelio. Hmm. Bombarder. Nope. Deposit. One there. Ugh. Would really be nice if you helped, Poppy. Come on. Can't do everything. But yet I must. You did it. Oh, hell. Ah, oh, that power is very loud. I need some, uh, oh, okay. Kind of wanted some more ancient magic. You know, we are veering off quite heavily from uh, the, those chests that I missed. Should we take a closer look? You read my mind. <sighs> okay, it's gonna take forever to, for my clothes to dry. 
This is cotton. Merlin, it's even more beautiful close up. Oh. It's got to be here. I just know it. Well, how do we get up there? Rebellion. Given what groupers are known to do, I never thought I'd be so happy to see this many of them. I don't know. I've been listening to them for a while now, and I'm starting to lose my mind. <laughs> Very funny. I was just thinking how it's proof. Bombarder. Assuming this is where the Moonstone is. Which means we're one step ahead of them. <coughs> we found it! It's like staring directly at the moon. Well, we found what we came for. Now we just need to bring it to the henge. Well done, Poppy. This did end up being the right cave after all. A good thing, too. We need every advantage over the poachers if we're to get to the Snidgets first. We should do as Doran suggested and bring the Moonstone to the Henge. I think I'd like to look around a bit first. I suppose we could spare a moment. Very well. I gotta find those chests. We should leave soon. The longer we stay, the more I want a Fwipa. <laughs> Oh, Bobby, help me, Bobby. So much to search. <clears throat> so yet there was a collection chest here. Which was the decorative ornamental stands or whatever. See? So, I know what I'm talking about. This way, huh? what secret lies over here? So, a whole clump juice. Aha! Uh -huh. Look at that. Oh, did miss that one though. And whatever that is. Another winter cloak. Nice, nice. Can I just go ahead and climb up here? Go, 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 go. Okay, back to Poppy. Hey, 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 Poppy, hey, I'm ready. I'm ready to leave. I got some stands. I'm good. From the outside, you'd never guess this place even existed in here. 
I have a feeling that was the idea. Are you finished exploring? I believe I am. Good. If we leave for the Henge now, we should make it by nightfall. Oh. We still have the poachers to contend with. That's the Henge, precisely where Doran said it would be. But now that we're here, I'm not entirely sure how to feel. We knew we were at the cave for the Moonstone, but Doran didn't tell us what to expect when we placed the stone in the Henge. I don't think Doran would knowingly send us into danger. You're right. I suppose I'm worrying over nothing. Let's make our way down. We're nearly at the end of this. Nearly? I think that's it over there. How's that uh, going, puppy. By the way? Nothing keeps Gran down. She set up a caterwauling charm and threatened to make a coat out of the next poacher that set foot on her doorstep. I still feel terrible that I'm the reason they went there. Surely yes. she'll be pleased you've gone after the Snidgets. I hope so. Gran understands how important it is to protect those who need it. <laughs> oh, big climbs. <laughs> Lumos. Lumos. I think we can safely say we know where the moonstone goes. Oh, a moon calf. is to see even one they only ever happen under a full moon though i suppose the moonstone allowed it to happen now is the pattern they left behind on the ground normal all part of the dance no one pattern is ever the same though we'll need to draw this one to get a better sense of it can't wait to tell Gran that i've managed to see not one but two moon calf dances she'll be jealous you've seen this before it was pure luck the first time. I was on high wing or I'd never have spotted it. It was the night I... Well, the night I met high wing, actually, I... I'd love to hear about how you and high wing met. I'd actually like you to know. About five years ago, high wing had been captured by poachers. At first, they planned to sell her, but soon decided they wanted to kill her instead. More money, I suppose. I'd finally had enough. I freed Highwing and we ran. We'd flown for ages when I spotted Mooncalves dancing below and we landed to watch them. It felt like an omen. A good one. A sign that the worst was over. What do you mean you'd had enough and the worst was over? You see, the night I freed Highwing was... Also the night I ran away from home. A poacher camp. I come from a family of poachers. Oh. Merlin. I don't know what to say, Poppy. I can't imagine what that must have been like for you. I never fitted in. But the older I got, the more apparent it became. Gran tried for years to convince my parents to let me live with her. Suffice it to say, when I left with Highwing, I flew straight for her house. How brave. I'm glad you escaped. So am I. There were so many creatures I was unable to help when I was younger. Now that's all I want to do. From everything I've seen, you're doing precisely that. I've had a bit of help. I've never told anyone any of this, but I'm glad that you know. It's nice to have someone to talk about it with. What was it like growing up in a family of poachers? The thing I remember most was how much we moved around. Always chasing the next big kill. It was chaotic and dangerous and nowhere a child should ever grow up. Do your parents know about the things you do now? 
Saving that dragon from the fighting ring, for instance. We don't speak, or rather, they don't speak to me. Last I heard, they were in Borneo, trying to make their fortunes there. Acromantulas. However, I wouldn't be surprised if word has got back to them. Some days a part of me hopes that it has. Now that I'm older, I wish I could talk to them, get them to see sense. But sadly, I suspect that wouldn't do any good. We were around so many poachers in the tent. Were you not worried about being recognized? Poachers are nomadic, and most of the ones in the area aren't any I'd grown up with. That said, I suspect someone must have recognized me. That's how they got to Gran. I'm glad you told me. We should get back to Doran. He'll need to see the symbol, and we've got poachers to beat. If you collect the Moonstone, I can make a quick drawing of the symbol for Doran. Mm. Are you finished with the drawing? Just barely. I think the pattern's a bird. At least that's what it looks like. Didn't the journal say the key to finding the Snidget lies in the moonlight? Of course. That's it. We need to show this to Doran. Not that I'd know where to find him at this hour. Perhaps we should head back to the castle and we can track him down after a good night's sleep. Agreed. I'm ready to leave if you are. Well, good night's sleep indeed. I will have to go around finding all those uh, pages still. <laughs> I bring it up every episode, but whatever. I might save it because there's like stuff you can do after the story has ended. So I will have to do that. So then I might just put everything I didn't get into that episode. We'll see. Ah. Uh, but yeah. I guess I'll leave it here. Let's get a good uh, little thing right there. There we go. Perfect. <clears throat> Gabriel, stretch it. Oh, yeah. Always so good to stretch, you know. Anyway. I hope you enjoyed this animal saving episode, you beautiful bastards. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.